So if you've just been starting learning jazz, you've probably heard of the bebop scale, which is a concept. Uh, well, the good news and the bad news is there's more than one. So the classic one will typically take place over a dominant chord. I'll give you an example like a C9 or C7. So you've probably seen this bebop scale, which is basically a C major, in which you fill the notes between the A and the C, which means it sounds like this. So that's one way to look at bebop scales. And then I'll show you two more ways, which is pretty simple. It's a major bebop scale and a minor bebop scale.